My name is Bertha. I'm from Ghana. And I'm a novice for the Sisters of the Holy Cross. I've been in the state for almost a year and a half now. And I came to Utah last month. I lived in Indiana. So um, this is how I met the Sisters of the Holy Cross, or how I got my education. One just become a sister was a childhood dream. I used to go to church every Sunday and see the sisters, and I used to like to them a lot, so I wanted to become like them. So as a child, anytime anybody asked me, what do you want to do when you grow up? I always told them that I wanted to become a sister. And my cousin wanted to become a sister, and we used to fight a lot about it, because it was like, it was my dream. Why is she taking it from me? <laughs> but she's not. But maybe one day she would be. So, it was there, it was a childhood dream, but later it was like I didn't think of it anymore because I used to still see the sisters, but I never went to them to tell them. So that dream or that idea of wanting to be like them one day kind of went away. But when I was in, but when I was in high school, um, I went to a school that was headed by school sisters of Notre Dame in Ghana. So I met the sisters again, so it was like wow. I'm in a sister school. Probably God is trying to tell me something. That is what I thought, and that's what I felt. And I used to tell my classmate that after school, I would want to be a sister, or like think of it. So I remember one time, a friend gave me a brochure. And I remember it was like an exam week, so I was kind of busy with my studies, so I kind of put the brochure away. But the idea never went away. I used to come with it to my friends and we always spoke about that idea. And I, when I was my final year to complete high school, my friends and I were talking about what we want to do or what kind of university or college we want to go to after school. And I was like, I want to go to school, but I'm also thinking of, you know, getting to know the sisters because it's kind of bothering me and I want to know more. So I was on vacation one day and I met a friend who asked me the same question what I want to do when I complete school. So I told the person of my interest of becoming a sister and he told me, oh, I can help you. So he gave me a brochure and it looked very funny. So I went back home, searching my books, and there it was. The first brochure my friend gave me, it was the same thing that that person gave me. So at that time I felt maybe this is it. God is trying to tell me that this is my calling, and I can also try this. It was, it was the same congregation. So I gave the sisters a call. They were very far from where I was, but I decided to give it a try. So before telling my relatives, I called the sisters, and they told me who they are, that they are the sisters of the Holy Cross, and right now they don't have the habit, and like, it's not the clothing that I'm considering, because, because the sisters that taught me, the sisters of which being, they were not in the habit. So I was kind of like used to sisters not being in habit. So um, I went home later and told my aunts and my brothers and I had the support of just one of my brothers. The others thought I was crazy, but I knew I was not. So I kept praying because if it was truly my calling, then I believed God was going to help me. So I kept praying to God and I kept talking to my family members that I feel that this is what I want to do when I finish school. So they still, I didn't have the support of everybody. I had some people saying, okay, give it a try, and others saying, you don't think you can do this, but I never stopped praying. And I talked to my friends, and I met some other religious people and told them about my decision, and they kept saying, you keep praying. So after high school, my relative, I guess they realized that I was not letting go of that idea. So my brothers especially, two of my brothers, in the beginning they were like, no. But later, I guess they thought of it and said, well, it's me, the sister who wants to live this life. So if I'm going to be happy in this life, why not? So they gave me the chance to go and give it a try. I visited the sisters. And where I come from is like um, seven hours, almost eight hours drive from home to where the sisters live. So I, I would give them, I traveled to the place to visit the sisters and I stayed, them, I stayed with them for like a week. And staying with them, there was a lot I learned about even in community. 
It was exactly what they had written in the brochure that I got. It was like, we need a community, we try to descend to know what God wants us to do. And when I was there, I felt welcome. I felt that this is where I wanted to be. So that same year when I completed high school, I decided to join the sisters, and I did. So I remember I, it was in October, I traveled back to the sister's place to begin my um, candidacy, or some people say postulancy. So I began my candidacy, and it was for two years. So after two years, I was questioned if I wanted to continue with my decision of wanting to become a sister of the Holy Cross, and I said yes. So myself and 15 other women from different countries, we came to the United States. In my group, there are 16 of us. Um, two from Ghana, so I'm with someone else. She's in um, Ventura right now for her mission experience. Um, four from India, six from Bangladesh, one from Mexico, and then two from Uganda, one from Kenya. These are other 15 women who also say yes to God's calling. And then we are all here in the Navishate, in St. Mary's, descending our calling. I'm a Utah for my mission experience. It's just for three months to stay with other sisters of the Holy Cross and have an experience of what it means to live in the community and also to help in ministries. So, nice meeting you all. Okay.